But anyway, you got the ice in the cocktail shaker. Take a liberal amount of tequila, pour it in the cocktail shaker. Kids, ask your parents permission before you raid their bar. Then, you cut the lime up. Squeeze the lime into the top of the cocktail shaker as so. Don't go ballistic. You're not making lemonade. You're just seasoning. Finally, as it comes to guitar playing and the diatonic scale, you got to put a little sugar in, make it sweet. I'd say a tablespoon at most. Like we talk about rhythm, you got to get your rhythm on. Now, if you're thinking about like a shaker, some little, that'll help you get in the groove too. Remember, don't shake it with your left hand because you're going to be needing that to play the guitar. The right hand is where you're doing all your stuff anyway. So that helps. Oh, we're almost there. Bear with me. Get yourself a nice shot glass. This one has to be a gift called uh, from a friend of mine. Says I love New York on it, which I do because you know that's where I'm from. You take your shot. You say salut, everybody. Boom, you drink your shot. Get yourself a guitar pick or a 10 pence or whatever they have, a shilling now. And you pick up your guitar. At this point, your wah wah pedal is activated. Put up to a normal volume so your neighbors don't really yell at you too much. And just get your groove on a little bit. Little Isaac Hayes kind of shaft thing. You just get your little wah pedal going. And let's, we'll say, let's say the key E. Make it easy on everybody. Just rock it up there, though. See, that's kind of cool. You just do that every once in a while. People think you're really up to something. And you feeling the tequila right now? Yeah, you are. Yes. And if you're feeling adventurous... But remember, you're the man on the guitar, so it's going to be your tempo playing along with it. Now, that was an E. We're just fooling around. I figure that's kind of like some kind of blues pentatonic stuff, which is pretty much where we're all playing anyway, unless you Pat Metheny, in which case you're gonna need two of them things. So anyhow, we're going into like some bends and shit like that that you like to do. I like doing some stuff while I'm doing that rhythm stuff. So if you get the thing going like this, do a little Jimmy stuff. It's really simple, but it sounds good. And the best thing I've always learned is don't play so fucking much thing guitar players tend to do is overplay and that's probably because we have like some kind of i don't know syndrome but the one thing to do is to know when not to play so if you just keep a nice rhythm something like that you're probably making everybody sound good you're making the song sound good and you're having some fun so let's get some here That's your first lesson in playing funk guitar. Lesson two, drinking, drinking, and playing guitar. We only have one, but we'll be moving it out.